Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we have a little exchange coin mining tutorial and review. And of course, it's the enter to win video for Bitcoin Fridays. See you in a bit. Alright, so real quick, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Um, this is the Enter to Win video for Bitcoin Fridays. So all you're going to have to do is enter your BTC wallet address below, and you're also going to have to tell me the total amount of Stellite coins I have mined to date. Um, I will be showing you that later on when I get to the spreadsheet, all right? So with that, let's get into the... Um, how to mine exchange and what it is. All right, so exchange coin. Here we are. Uh, I found this on the uh, crypto slate, like I found a couple of other coins. So exchange coin. The purpose of exchange coin is to revolutionize how to trade by using an in-wallet escrow and in-wallet auction. Thought that was kind of neat, kind of a angle, and uh, of course, what they say, no other coins uh, are doing that. Um, market cap of only 606,000, uh, rank 929, using the X16R algorithm. It's proof of work, obviously. Uh, circulating supply, 2.2 million. It's got a total supply of 100 million. Here is the website right here. Um, again, all these links will be down below this video, so don't worry about trying to remember any of this stuff. Just go in the uh, description down below. Why exchange over-the-counter trading is risky. As a result, third-party services have stepped in to reduce the risk. However, these services can be expensive and untrustworthy. Exchange solves this with an in-wallet escrow feature, which removes the human element and makes it possible for users to trade with no third-party risk. Thought that was kind of cool. Uh, some more features. Obviously, X16R, total supply, 100 million. In wallet escrow is their main selling point for their project. Instant Sin. Another thing I like was a multi coin wallet uh, that's going to be coming soon. Multi coin remote node wallet for fast and secure transactions. It's also a master node coin, so you can set up a master node with it if you want. Uh, let me read this little thing right here. Dedicated investors know that timing can be everything, they understand that getting in early can open the floodgates of incredible ROI. They also know that the best opportunities often occur long before a coin is listed on an exchange. Uh, so they scout the crypto community, the forums, Discord, Telegrams, etc., looking for OTC trading opportunities. When they find a seller, the issue becomes, how do we make this trade safely? Unfortunately, many have been hit by scammers who never fulfill their end of the bargain and walk away with the funds. Exchange solves this by allowing P2P trades in wallet with any combination of coins, except those that have been deemed as scammed or blacklisted. Uh, the process is automated, anonymous, and secure. So I thought that's pretty cool. Um, it's just in the infancy stage right now. So it's got a good, uh, good start, good idea, I thought. Um, let's go over to the discord right here again all this will be down below it shows you the um, dev team right here and they are they um, they also take pride in uh, we have confirmed our devs identity and are now KYD verified so that's cool as well and um, so enough with that, let's get into how to mine it. Uh, first thing, you're going to need the wallet. Um, I downloaded the Windows version here. They say over here on their site, wallets, that they do have a Mac and Linux, and it just takes you to the GitHub right here. But I, I don't see it. Um, maybe those just haven't come out yet. But anyways, the Windows wallet is there. So you would just download that, and it would take you, um, let me click on my wallets folder. You would get this little file right here. You just double click on it, let it install, and really pretty straightforward. This is what the wallet looks like when you're done. Kind of a um, 
bland looking wallet, nothing fancy. Um, you would click here, click receiving addresses. That's what you're going to need for the miner. So we'll get to that in a second. The miners. Um, this uses the Z enemy miner, at least the one I chose. Uh, it's got a couple different miners. Let me go over to here. This is the pool. You can use the Z enemy miner, CC miner, basically are the main ones for NVIDIA GPUs. I didn't really see anything for AMD GPUs uh, as of yet, but it does use the Z enemy miner, which I downloaded, which you can find right here. Again, links will be down in the description. I'm using the 1.20 version, which is down here, but they do have updated versions, 1.21. Um, etc. Probably the 9.1 right here. X64 would be your best bet if you have Windows 64 bit. So you would download that miner. And uh, let me close that. Let me click on my miners folder. Once you download that, it would look like this right here Z enemy 1.2 CUDA.91. You would unzip that. So let's do that real quick. Extract all. I'm going to name mine dash exchange dash coin. Extract. So we scroll back up. We should have a folder now right here. Exchange coin. You would go into that. This is where you're going to save slash create your run.bat file. So right here, let me open Notepad. And again, I've already got the information for you below this video that you're going to need for this file. All you have to do is copy and paste it, okay? So here is the description of this video right here that you'll see below. So info for your run.bat file. You would just take this right here, control C, put it in your new file you're creating, your run.bat file, and then you would click save as. Make sure it's in the correct folder, which is going to be miners. Scroll down here, exchange coin, call it run.bat, save, and now you have your run.bat file. The only thing you're going to need to change, of course, is your wallet address right there. The name of the rig you want, you don't have to have that there. If you don't want that there, you just backspace right here and boom, like that. And then you would need your wallet address, which again, here's your wallet address. Click File, Receiving Addresses. You would click right here and click Copy. And then you would paste that in right there all right so you would change that to your wallet address uh, the coin is going to be xcg everything else you can leave just like that all right so for the purposes of this video let me call this dot a c e r let's just call it acer for this computer which is an acer laptop and click save all right we will close that out Minimize the wallet. Minimize this. And there's our run.bat file. So we should be able to double click on her. We'll pull up the miner and it should start mining. There we go. Connected to the pool right there. GPU intensity set to 20. This should take a little bit. So while this is going, hopefully it doesn't lag too much. Let's get into um, what my rigs did here over the last 24 hours. So again, to enter Bitcoin Fridays, you're going to need this number right here. Total Stellite Coins mine is 50,557. So again, you'll need that to enter below this video along with your BTC wallet address and any other comment or suggestion you may have. All right. so. As of right now, we're sitting at $23.87 uh, total mine this week. Um, we are already up over last week. 
Last week was 21.72, 23.87, so this is a nice week. Um, that's probably brought on by the bit, uh, micro Bitcoin I've been mining. Um, I've only got 0 .6, 0 .678 uh, exchange coin. It's looking like I'm only going to be able to get maybe two to three coins a day on this. Again, it's not super profitable. The coin right now is about 29 cents right here per coin. So I may be able to get two to three coins. So definitely micro Bitcoin is more profitable than mine right now. But again, I'm just showing you some more uh, speculative mining here. Look at that. I said the word correctly. All right. So let's go over to the pool, which is going to be right here. Should have probably told you guys that. If you wanted to change your pool, click here's the run.bat file we just created. You would change that right here. All right. So if you wanted to change pools or you can just use the same pool, that's fine. You would just change that line right there, stratum tcp pool .bsod .pw. So anyways, I'm using this pool. There's a bunch of pools here on um, the exchange that you can use. Let me see where they're at. Right here, a bunch of pools. The bsod.pw is the best uh, pool I saw so far, but again, you can use whatever you'd like. So here is the exchange coin wallet. Let me hit refresh on this page and see if it's picking up the Acer laptop. You always want to see and make sure that your um, miner is actually connected to the pool. And here we are, Acer right here. So we are connected doing a whopping 1.9 mega hash. 24 mega hash on my NVIDIA rig. So there we have it, guys. That's how easy it is to mine exchange coin. Um, with that, I will conclude this video, guys. Be sure to enter your BTC wallet address below, uh, along with how many Stalite coins I have mined and any other questions or comments you have. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like this video, hit that like button. I'd appreciate that as well. Okay, guys, with that, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.